a lot. Nam the Kano in severe pains needs urgent surgery. Lawyer exclaimed, calls for help. You can hear that, my dear listeners. You can hear that. Nam the Kano is in severe pain. This is not um, a story that touched my dear listeners. This is a reality. This very content is just reaching us um, just um, 20 minutes back. back. Yes. So we felt it's very important we pass this message so that you too on your own will quickly make it, um, make it open to the public so that Onion do Mazin Nam the Kanu will be quickly attended to because as it is the federal government and uh, are feeling that uh, uh, that the world or the, the people are not aware of Nam the Kanu's present state. Hmm. Nam the Kanu is in a very terrible state right now and it needs an urgent surgery. Its lawyer, Aloy Ejimako, has taking a swift move to Aso Villa to have a one-on-one -on -one talk with President Mokwari on the release of the IPOP leader or if he is not ready to release him, he should give him access to his doctor to attend to him there in detention. Why recommending a doctor for him? Why are not allowing his doctor to attend to him? If truly they want Nam the Kanu to be free, to be free from his weakness or sickness, why then are they not allowing his own doctor why recommending a doctor for him let's check the content this is today's news if i a job for the lead lawyer of the leader of the indigenous people of biafra ipop namde kanu has said his client needs urgent advanced medical treatment and surgical operation to address his deteriorating health condition especially on his left year. In a statement late on Monday night obtained by Politics Nigerian, Ejafo said Kano has suffered an ear injury due to the severe torture and beating he received from agents of the federal government when he was forcibly kidnapped in Kenya and savagely renditioned back to Nigeria in June 2021. This Newspaper reports that Kano's lawyer Mike Ozekume's son had visited the IPOP leader in the custody of the Department of State Services DSS in Abuja on Monday and made the updates on Kano's health available to age of four. Our indefatigable lead counsel seized the opportunity offered by the visit to discuss the present health condition of Onyendo Kano. Onyendo carefully narrated to him the non-provision of proper medical care to the bearage of life-threatening illness he is faced with a for said. Of very particular concern is the fact that the DSS have no adequate medical facilities to treat Onyendo's deteriorating health condition. Onyendo seriously lamented about severe pains, particularly on his left ear. He also recounted that a previous scan at the instance of the DSSS revealed that he must undergo an advanced surgical procedure to repair his left ear drum that has become greatly impaired by the severe torture and beating he received from agents of the federal government when he was forcibly kidnapped in Kenya and savagely renditioned back to Nigeria in June 2021. Generally, onion needs urgent advanced medical treatment and surgical operation to address this very pain, he claimed. It's important. It's important. You see, the ear is a very delicate, delicate uh, organ of the body, and there is need for it to be, uh, to be, to be, to be uh, uh, attended to. You don't know what these people are trying to do. They are trying to weaken Nnamdi Kano so that he will have no choice than to what? Than to own up and surrender the struggle. 
and another thing is that these people are planning to um to make to make nam the canoe um weakened and not able to move on with the struggle even if he is released or silently die that's what they're trying to do you see that so that's why you see that they are giving him a belated medical treatment they are not giving him a comprehensive treatment they are not giving him the kind of treatment that will make him come back on his feet in a very sound way you see that so i i am of this opinion that we must not the the ipop members must not um, must not give up to this uh to this very uh struggle you understand but first of all let them fight to see that onyendu comes back on his feet fully and uh, and be able to move on with the fight for Biafran freedom because uh, that alone is what can still give life to the struggle you understand yeah so um my dear people you've heard it already um let's quickly uh hear from you and let's know what you to think about this that has just been reviewed to you this very afternoon don't forget your comments they are still very much of great importance don't forget to leave them below the comment section click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos thank you